Hey everybody, so chances are if you clicked on this video, you're more than likely wondering how on earth do I corrupt Undertale? Now before I get into how you just do that, let me give you a couple warnings, precautions, things of that sort. So if you're worried this is going to like ruin your save or anything of that sort, uh, there are some things that it may ruin. For example, if you're doing it against some fight, for example, when I did the Sans fight, a lot of the time he wasn't there. Uh, that might ruin that, so be very, very wary of that. Now, what I do recommend doing is only corrupt the game after you've beaten it and such, you know? Just so it doesn't really ruin everything. As well, when you corrupt the game, I do recommend you keep your volume pretty low, because as uh, if you've ever seen any of my corruption videos, um, I have to lower the volume for those a very, very drastic amount from the sound from like the raw audio because it is legitimately uh, painful. <laughs> like the audio clips, it's very, very, very not good for your ears. So I do recommend whenever you do corrupt the game, you have the, vo the game volume relatively low as to avoid any risk with that. Now, honestly, corrupting the game is pretty simple. You're going to want to open up the uh, link to this, uh, this page that I more than likely put in the description. This is called Hate. It is the Undertale Corruptor, and it does all the work, really. Now, obviously, you just gotta download it. I'm not gonna download it because I already have it, blah, blah, blah. That'd be a bit silly, you know. When you download it, by the way, have WinRAR if you don't already. That'd be... It, you, why would you not have WinRAR? When you download it, it'll basically give you this folder, blah, 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 I hate, or whatever, and you're gonna be like, oh, what in the world do I do with all of this? Now, honest to God, it's a lot more simpler than you may actually think. Think. It's very, very simple. If you have Undertale, chances are you probably got it on Steam. If you didn't, that might be a bit complex. But what I recommend doing, you know, go to um, go to your Steam with Undertale, blah blah blah. Right-click Undertale Properties, uh, Local Files, Browse Local Files. Oh God, I was about to burp there. Oh, that's totally unprofessional. Whatever. And all you really have to do is just drag the hate.exe whatever thing in there. That's all you really have to do. And you're probably wondering, well, does that corrupt the game? Is that it? No, not really. It doesn't really do anything until you open it up. Now, when you open it up, obviously, here you'll see it's like shuffle audio, shuffle GFX, fonts, all that sort of stuff. And what I tend to do is I'll just click all of them when I'm doing corruptions, obviously. And then I'll just be like, um, power, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> since I hate myself, I'm gonna go for two, two, uh, then I'm gonna open up Undertale, obviously, because it's corrupted, so... May as well. Now, luckily, as far as I know, I'm gonna turn off audio for this video. Oh, as you see, it worked! It's... Hmm... Jesus Christ. Oh, God! <laughs> let's just, uh, let's exit out of that. Now, you're probably wondering, now that I've corrupted it, well, what... Okay, first off, if you wanna just constantly keep doing corruptions, all you gotta do is get rid of the seed and press corrupt again. Obviously, you're gonna wanna close the game before you corrupt the game again, or else that'd be very silly of you. But if you wanna just constantly keep corrupting the game, all you gotta do is close out the game, get rid of the seed, put a different power if you want. I don't know, maybe you're feeling like lowering the corruption, maybe you don't feel like doing that. Then just do that, boom, corrupt, the end. It's all as good as that. Now, you're probably wondering, well, what if I wanna stop corruptions? What if I just wanna return it to the normal game? All you gotta do is unhighlight all of that, set power to zero, hit restore, and when you open up the game, it'll be perfectly normal, as you will see here in a second. Yeah, look at this. Perfectly normal. Shabam. And that's about it, really. It's pretty simple. Uh, I'm surprised nobody had asked how to do this before, but, you know, at the same time, it's probably for the best that I ended up being the person to show you how, if I am the first person to show you how to corrupt the game, because, like I said, there are some precautions that I would advise taking with this, but that's it really. So if you have enjoyed this little tutorial on how to corrupt Undertale, uh, yet again, corrupt at your own risk, I'm not responsible for anything, so, like I said, corrupt with caution, basically. So people, that's gonna be it for this video. If you have enjoyed, go ahead and drop a like as well as a comment. Be sure to subscribe if you're really feeling it, and I shall see you guys next time. See you. I just wanna chill at a steady pace. Feel like I could kill just to get some space. So I'm gonna build me a better place. Yeah, I'm gonna build me a better place. Building and building, I'll be feeling much better.
I just want something real, something realer than ever. Yeah, yeah. Drag the hate.exe whatever thing in there. That's all you really have to do. And you're probably wondering, well, does that corrupt the game? Is that it? No, not really. It doesn't really do anything until you open it up. Now, when you open it up, obviously, here you'll see it's like shuffle audio, shuffle GFX, fonts, all that sort of stuff. And what I tend to do is I'll just click all of them when I'm doing corruptions, obviously. And then I'll just be like, um, psh, power, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> since I hate myself, I'm gonna go for two, two, uh, 25. Then I'm gonna open up Undertale, obviously, because it's corrupted, so may as well. Now, luckily, as far as I know, I'm going to turn off audio for this video. Oh, as you see, I recommend you keep your volume pretty low because as uh, if you've ever seen any of my corruption videos, um, I have to lower the volume for those a very, very drastic amount from the sound from like the raw audio because it is legitimately uh, painful. <laughs> like the audio clips, it's very, very, very not good for your ears. So I do recommend whenever you do corrupt the game, you have the vo the game volume relatively low as to avoid any risk with that. Now, honestly, corrupting the game is pretty simple. You're going to want to open up the uh, link to this uh, this page that I more than likely put in the description. This is called Hate. It is the Undertale Corrupter, and it does all the work, really. Now, obviously, you just got to download it. I'm hey, everybody. So, chances are, if you clicked on this video, you're more than likely wondering how on earth do I corrupt Undertale? Now, before I get into how you just do that, let me give you a couple warnings, precautions, things of that sort. So if you're worried this is going to like ruin your save or anything of that sort, uh, there are some things that it may ruin. For example, if you're doing it against some fight, for example, when I did the Sans fight, a lot of the time he wasn't there, uh, that might ruin that. So be very, very wary of that. Now, what I do recommend doing is only corrupt the game after you've beaten it and such, you know, just so it doesn't really ruin everything. As well, when you corrupt the game, I do re It worked! It's... Hmm... Jesus Christ. Oh, God. <laughs> let's just, uh, let's exit out of that. Now, you're probably wondering, now that I've corrupted it, well, what... Okay, first off, if you want to just constantly keep doing corruptions, all you gotta do is get rid of the seed and press corrupt again. Obviously, you're gonna want to close the game before you corrupt the game again or else that'd be very silly of you but if you want to just constantly keep corrupting the game all you got to do is close out the game get rid of the seed put a different power if you want i don't know maybe you're feeling like lowering the corruption maybe you don't feel like doing that then just do that boom corrupt the end it's all as good as that now you're probably wondering well what if i want to stop corruptions what if i just want to return it to the i'm not going to download it because i already have it blah 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 that'd be a bit silly you know when you download it by the way have winrar if you don't already that'd be it you, why would you not have winrar when you download it it'll basically give you this folder blah 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 i hate or whatever and you're gonna be like oh what in the world do i do with all of this now honest to god it's a lot more simpler than you may actually think it's very very simple if you have undertale chances are you probably got it on steam if you didn't that might be a bit complex but what i recommend doing you know go to um, go to your steam with undertale blah blah blah. right click undertale properties uh local files browse local files oh god i was about to burp there oh that's totally unprofessional whatever and all you really have to do is just 